Hey guys, what's up? I'm back today and I'm using this camera that I bought a long time ago and I used to use it for like one of my very first vlogs. I don't know where I'm looking. Anyway, it is, the positioning of it is so weird like and there's like a bar going through my face. So I, okay, I don't know. I just don't really like this camera but I think it like the quality was pretty good last time and I'm trying to make sure my jewelry is adjusted the way I want it to like that. Okay. Um, hey, okay, do I look pretty today? I feel like I look like, I feel like I look pretty today. I feel like I just like, I feel more on lately ever since we got those like disgusting implants out. Oh my God, like I just feel better. Like don't I look smaller? I just feel like, ugh, I just feel like a human being again rather than like a fucking milky ass cow, okay? So anyway, today I have so many fun things and I can't even see myself. Like there's a fucking barb through my eyes. It's so weird. Um... I have so many things to show you guys. A lot of them are fall things, and I haven't done, like, a favorites video in a long time. But you guys know with me, favorites are, like, super choosy, and I'm, like, very specific about favorites. Like, I don't want to, like, I, like, hate everything. You guys know that. Like, legitimately hate everything. So it's really hard for me to compile a favorites video um, because I don't like anything. So I really do like these things. Like, some of them are kind of like testing my nerves, but we will, this is probably like a favorite and not favorites. Like I bet you everything I say is going to be like a not favorite <laughs> in the end. And I'm going to like say, I love this, but you know, okay, shut up. So here we go. Um, before I get started, I just want to talk about my hair a little bit. So I got my hair done yesterday and I think I'm going in a slightly different direction with it. Um, I'm going to go a little bit, I'm going to plan to go a little bit darker. So that's why um, she, I just had her put some like highlights above here and I'm going to have it grow out. I just want to become darker for like the fall and it just looks a little more rich. Like I'm kind of over the blonde, the total, the all blonde. I don't know. I just am. Okay. Um, and then I'm wearing um, my favorite like necklaces right now that I wear all the time. And you guys know that um, all my new things are now 14k gold fill and solid and solid sterling silver, um, not plated chains anymore, or you know the chain kind of chains that I use before. Everything is I'm doing new things now, so I hope you guys are giving them a try. Um, and um, here's my bracelet stack. Like so, yeah. A lot of you guys are ordering all of the new things. I'm so happy you are because they're amazing. Like I wear them every single day, and I feel like my line. I want it to grow with me. You know what I mean with my tastes and my expectations of it and things like that. That's why. For everything from now on is always going to be at least 14k gold fill and sterling silver um so let me just try and show you guys what i'm wearing so you know and then i'll talk about my makeup too so the top one is my new Lux orion and it's really really shiny and i'm wearing the choker version of it and i feel like just like everything like looks better on me now ever since i got those fucking huge implants out it's jugs you know what i mean okay so um this is that, and if you guys have the, my original Orion, this is now available in 14K gold fill or sterling silver, so you can get, like, a better version, you know, more quality, the, not, you know, it's not like the piece wasn't made, I, I make everything by hand, it's just I'm using different material now, okay? And then, um, I'm going to talk about this piece at the end. The next piece is my Toujours necklace, and this is, like, a really nice, rounded, comfortable link, oh my god, I was like, oh, weird um comfortable link chain and it kind of sits at the base of your neck um and it's gold filled these all come in um sterling silver as well and this is my ritz necklace and it's super shiny ritz lariat and it's made of like little dashes of um chain it's really really pretty soft and it just moves really really nicely if you wear it in between your shirt you can feel it rolling around like in between on your like on your boobs it just feels it's such a nice nice luxe piece and it feels really good on I can't explain it this piece is my new piece that I am absolutely obsessed with and it's definitely a little bit more pricey than um, any of my pieces I have online that's why I haven't added it online well I have a lot of new designs to add online but we've been so busy moving and things which I'll probably talk about in another video moving um, offices so anyway this piece is like my um, like I'm obsessed with it okay so the chain is not the same as the Ritz, as you can tell. It's like similar though, really shiny, long, like um, rectangle shape, little pieces of chain. And what's cool about it is this pin, which is 14 carats, 14 carat, it's not gold filled. The pin is 14 carat with real pearls, um, is like a unique 
pearl pin and you can attach it like I have to make a choker lariat, you can make a necklace out of it, you can make a different size lariat, you can do all different things with it. I like to hang it asymmetrically um, with or without my ritz. It's just really, really cool. You can hang it in the middle if you want. It's really a fun, fun piece. It's not available on my site right now and because of that I'm offering $10 off for it. So when it's on my site you won't be able to get the $10 off on it, but if you would like it um, you can email me and um, I'll give you all the information about it and then you can still get $10 off until I have the time to add it on my site. So that's my stack which I am obsessed with. And then I'm wearing my Duchess bracelet which is amazing and then my large link du jour and my H chain um, bracelet which was, looks like little Hermes H almost or little pills. And these are all also available in sterling silver. And then my rings. This one we'll talk about in another video and this one is my Chevalier. Okay. Makeup. Okay, let's go. I want to share this with you guys because this is truly, truly, like, out of everything is my favorite thing. Like, I wear this stuff all the time. You know that. So it has to be a part of my favorites. It honestly is. Okay, so here we go. Um, makeup. My makeup, I am wearing the Kim, the KKW, um, this. I'm wearing this palette. And you guys know I love colors. Um, I do wear eyeshadow now. Like I never wore eyeshadow before, but now I wear eyeshadow and even I, wear, I, have, I even wear eyeshadow if I'm not wearing mascara. And I think I like that even more. I just put on some like false eyelashes just on the end right here. Um, so I put on some mascara, but typically during like on a regular day, I will wear no mascara with like burnt, sunburnt as fuck looking like eyes like dead or dead girl as fuck eyes and no mascara. It just looks so model off duty. I can't explain it. It makes you look so luxe. I don't know why, but it does. Like don't put the mascara on. The mascara is like a little bit too heavy for the day. Like I don't look kind of heavy. It just, um, it's so fucking cool. I can't explain it. Just put that on and do your eyebrows and like have a clean face. It looks so good. Anyway, I love this palette a lot. And yes, Kate, um, they did send me this um, this palette, so I'm not being paid to talk about it or anything like that. I just really do like it, and yes, I was sent this. You guys know that I talked about it before. Um, but I love this. I love these shades. You guys can tell these are my shades. I mean, I probably like, honestly, you guys know about like palettes. The thing about palettes is you like like four shades out of like the ten, right? So that's what it is, but I like one, two, three, four. I like five or six, so that's a pretty good margin, you know what I mean? Um, I really like it, and I love this color. It's like so now. It's so like... Dead. I, I love it. It's. I think it's very cool. So that's what I'm wearing. And then on my lips, I'm wearing my Mamond, which I shared with you guys in my last video, the one that I got. This one is the, it's all in Korean writing, so I don't have the number. Oh, wait, I do. It's number one, Bouquet Nudie. Okay? Bouquet or Bouquet Nudie. And when I wear it, I put it on and then I wipe it off so it doesn't look like, like, that is like the rule, you guys. You're not fucking just like draw your lipstick on like I got I yelled at my mom last night I was like why are you like drawing your lipstick on you need to like pat it in your lips like it looks so much better like that okay so that is the one all right here we go okay next favorite next favorite is um oh I forgot to tell you I'm also wearing my um pill earrings and this is the heart and then this is the pay me one and then over here I'm wearing the um buy pill and the pay me so cool okay how to say that all right let's talk about um Okay, let me talk about a skinny legend as fuck hack. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know what I'm talking about. But if you don't follow me on Instagram or if you've been blocked <laughs> um, for being a fucking social freak then or a feral child, then you would not know about this. So you're lucky I'm repeating myself. All right, let me tell you. All right, you guys know 100 calorie packs, right? Like 100 calorie packs. I love them, but I don't buy them anymore because I, okay, 100 calorie packs are like, little pre pre-portioned out packs of like snacks that like Nabisco does and whatever other like companies and um I like them because portion control is big like you really don't if you get like a bag of chips even if you get like a handful of chips and, and put them in a bowl and then close the bag you're still probably eating more than like the serving is you know what I mean so that's why these are the 100 calorie packs are helpful except they are so unfulfilling because there's like literally seven chips in the bag you know what I mean but that's like honestly that's the serving Anyway, so, hack is this. Every time at Halloween, and I don't remember why I didn't share this with you guys last year, but I just didn't think of it, but um, every year at Halloween, Halloween now these companies, like chip companies and um, cracker companies, are also making trick-or-treat stuff because to give, rather than 
like you can buy healthier options to give to your fucking neighbor kids gives a shit you know what i mean okay so anyway the thing about that's good about these is the portion size is even smaller for example this one is only 70 calories for the bag and this one is i think it's it's not on here it's on the box it's like these chex mix and okay oh my god you guys are so fucking bomb these are chex mix muddy buddies i got them from cvs I think it's like 60 calories in the bag and there's nothing there's literally like fucking probably 12 checks in here but they are kind of decadent just eat them slowly do not grab for another bag because then you might as well just have got you know what i mean just don't you can only allow yourself you have to like self-control then this annie's one is the um from this is from whole foods and it's the bunny grams and literally it's only 50 calories so look at how, like, literally, it's only this many. It's like the stupidest shit ever. It's literally like half a handful. Like, this fucking stuff is so, I just, it's so hard, you know what I mean? But um, if you guys are just, do, I think you should try the veggies. These veggies are really good. Do veggie chips or whatever. They're super salty, so they're, like, definitely fulfilling. And what I do with these is I um, crunch them up, like, really small, so I can, like, pick them and just, like, eat them, like, just, like, turn a fucking savor each goddamn fucking bite. It's really so hard okay it's so hard because i could eat literally the entire fucking like family size of chips you know what i mean so annoying okay <sighs> next okay next let's talk about socks actually let's not, let's okay now that i said i have to all right let's talk about socks and i just feel like you guys are like being so mean to me on my instagram lately like no one's liking my outfits and like too fucking bad like this is my style i'm gonna be honest with you like i i, I want to wear what i want to wear and people are being so like what the fuck are you wearing like on instagram like whatever this is what i'm wearing this is what i like i love socks right now okay and I love socks with my Fendi slides. It is so fuck you. It is so like, I don't give a shit. Like I'm just comfortable and chic and I got these like cute socks and I just slid on my Fendi slides. Like it's just a vibe. And if you don't get it, then I feel like really bad for you because you just don't get it. Anyway, so I love these. Um, these are just like, I got these in Koreatown. They're just like um, stretchy so uh, socks. And then they have like little, little beads on one side. And I also got black versions of this, but there's no beads on the black version. Okay, and you're gonna fucking flip your shit over these, okay? Look at these socks white socks white chanel socks and i got these in creatine too no they're not real i know whatever okay and then the back has a little chanel like i cannot wait to wear these with um my fin with my black and white fendi slides um i just love them so much so fucking sick so you guys do your thing i'm gonna wear it just go go on my instagram and see how cool my outfits are okay because they're so cool all right let's talk about some sunglasses I bought these sunglasses from um, Neiman Marcus, and I really like them because they're very Sam Rothstein. You guys know from Casino, Sam Rothstein. Um, I feel like they're very him, and I really like them. I feel like they look good when I'm in the mirror, when I'm talking like this, but for some reason in photos, whenever I take these like pictures with an outfit photo, it just, they ruin every fucking picture I've ever taken with them. Like, I don't understand why they are so horrible on like in pictures i don't get it but i really like them these are the blue ones actually and their blue ones are darker than the black ones the black ones have like an ombre lens which i hate i you know i don't want like anyone to like see i'm, I'm like why not like i want like dark lenses and i'm wearing sunglasses like what the fuck is the point other than that like uh, you know it's so weird to me so those are really really nice they're christian jordan what i love about these two is they have the og like um their original cd label right here like a throwback which is really cool i remember my grandma the bitch grandma um she used to wear sunglasses i probably shouldn't have said that no one's gonna know exactly what i'm talking about oh, fuck. okay um the next is these okay i'm not sure about these you guys so let me tell you the story is um a subby out there thank you so much saw that i was i bought those Al what are these called i forgot the name is um alain mickley those sunglasses that i bought when i was in paris or sorry yeah, Paris at Galleries Lafayette, my first round, those black, like, really chic, like, fat Bella, like, they make me look like a fat Bella Hadid, those, um, so a really sweet subby was like, oh my god, I didn't know you liked this, like, she works for the PR, so she, she's like, upset, she, whatever, she worked with me, and she, she, like, whatever, they sent, they're like, I'll send you, like, a pair of sunglasses, and, um, I was like, I'm very, very grateful for them, but they're just, I'm not sure for, like, my style, like, I'm, I don't want to sound ungrateful at all, but I feel like this is a point where I feel like, I wish companies would, allow you to choose something only because like it, I don't want these to go to waste you know what I mean like I feel really bad accepting a gift that I can't use you know what I mean I, I just don't I don't know what to say about that I feel like very ungrateful and I feel like ugh, like so much pressure to like 
somehow share these and I we, even though they don't fit me you know what I mean so that's what I mean about like PR packages and things like that like I feel like best way is just like let the person choose something because these are just like not my like they don't look good on me like you know what I mean like it's just like not my vibe I mean I think you have to be like literally four four and a half pounds like runway model to wear these or else you just look like really like you have to like a face like this you know what I mean you have to like your bones have to be hanging out right like this is just like doesn't even make me look skinny does it? Do we like them? I mean, I don't know. They're that um, the brand which I love. I'll, I'll, I will say it again because I love the black ones. Um, A L A I N Mickley. Alain Mickley Paris, handmade in Italy. I mean, they're fabulous sunglasses, um, but it's just not something I would choose. I think you know what I mean. Like, I, I don't. I don't know. I just. What do we think? Am I gonna wear them? Am I? You tell me. Tell me what to do. So those are those. I figured I would share them with you because I haven't shared them yet. And I was like, oh, I gotta like talk about them at least. Okay, um, then let's talk about some Halloween stuff. The beaker. My beakers are back. I have like a whole collection of beakers. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'd see my little like my little fall like decor that I do. And I just feel like that's very unique and I can't stand like decor. I can't, I like, ho like holiday. It's really hard. Like I don't, I love the holidays. You guys know that I love like Thanksgiving and Christmas and Halloween. I love I love this time of year, but I'm not the kind of person who, I cannot stand decorations. Like it's just it's almost like you know when you have too many coats of nail uh, po nail polish on your nails and it just feels heavy and it's like suffocating. That's what I feel like holiday decorations are. Like I like to go and experience it at like a mall or like at someone's house, but like Maybe I'll have like a few things in my house, but like I cannot wait to even take those few things down. Like literally, like the day I can, t if I ever get a Christmas tree, when I get a Christmas tree, it, I have a couple times, I like need to take it down like day after Christmas. Like I've had enough. I have had enough of it. Like it is literally killing my like life. It kills me. I don't know why. Like decorations are the worst for me. So I like if you go on my Instagram and you see the kind of the kind of things I did for Halloween. Um, I just think they're very like not obvious they're like non-committal and I do use my beakers like year-round um, and then I also got I got these from Michaels just so you guys know and everyone has asked me where you get your beakers like sorry I'm like I feel like a little bit annoyed by it it's like people are so not resourceful like it's just you guys know that I had that rant one day like the where'd you get that where'd you get that where'd you get that where'd you get that like <sighs> sorry okay so then I got this too. Um, I got this from World Market and I would never, ever, ever choose anything like this because they're typically so fucking tacky. But this legitimately looks like a skull. It looks real, okay? So that's what I liked about it. And it's a candle. I also don't like like decorations that are useless. I don't like, typically, I have those like Halloween dolls, which is like a very, very like weird thing that I did. Like I don't know why I just like them because they look so like, whatever, retro. Okay, just stop. <laughs> typically anything I have is like there's a purpose like I can actually like, flowers I can throw them away or like these are used as like votives or vases you know what I mean there's a purpose for them this is a candle like I can this is a non-committal item I can like throw it away if I get if it starts to irritate me like this I think it's very cool too like it actually looks like real which is cool I've never buy like a fake looking skull it's so tacky you know so I already started to burn it a little bit I don't really like it okay um, also we'll talk about something that's irritating me. Actually, no, let's talk about something that's not irritating me. Let's get into like a happy mode. I don't think I can find a complaint about these. These are also from World Market and I have passed by these a lot of times. Like I think World Market has the best dishes because they're very inexpensive and like the lines of them are nice. Um, and they're not too chunky. I hate like a thick plate. It's, they're just, it's very like cheap. You can tell on a plate it's very thick. But, um, I love these. These are so Scandinavian. They're so Lufthansa first class in like the 90s. I just feel like if you were on like a first class like trip in the 90s in on Lufthansa, they would have brought you this shape plate exactly. I remember them. Um, they actually had like square, like rounded square edges and they stacked. So this reminds me of that. They're just like so fucking chic and they're, I, I just love them. Like they're, everything about this is just like so perfect. I just really, 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 really like it a lot. And I got four of these. And typically I only get like two plates, um, but I got four because I've been like really loving them. <laughs> no complaints. Okay. Um, then we can talk about this. I went to Bath and Body Works because yeah, I do. Okay. I, I am very picky about candles too, obviously, because like scents really irritate me if it's not done perfect, like just exactly right. And um, I always get like every year I want to get, I try to get 
I want, I, I love to go get the pumpkin flavored, like pumpkin stuff for, from Bath and Body Works just for fun, just to try. Like they have those really crazy swirls and things like that, like the cinnamon swirls and like the caramel and the waffles and shit like that. And I bring them to the office and we love to try them out. It's so much fun. So, um, and then you guys know what these are, right? These are the smell pod things for your car and for, um, let me see if this is going to end. Okay, sorry, so my camera only allows me to do 20 minute increments. I don't know why. Okay, so these smell pods are from Bath and Body Works, and you guys know that um, during, they have like different scents and stuff, and you put them in these like little uh, plastic attachments that you hook on your like um, rear view mirror, right? Um, which are literally the ugliest options ever. Like, I have never seen such heinous, ugly, tacky options ever like seriously okay anyway like two years ago i did buy one that i really liked though i think it was like a little cupcake or something it was like really cute but i tried to find another one that was cute and they were ugly so just buy these and just open them up and then just put them in your car like i put like i threw one two of them i threw one under my seat and one under the passenger seat and my car smells like pumpkin spice now i mean it's a little bit like weird smelling it's not the best um but it's kind of like it's holiday so it's nice I might get annoyed and throw them out, but I'm just saying, if you guys see these, you don't have to get that real ugly attachment because they're all so ugly. You can just get like these by themselves and just open them up and like put them under your seats. Okay, because the attachments are like so, like I'm not even being, I'm not even like being dramatic. Like they are so ugly. Like I just don't even understand how like someone can just like, it's just really, really like ugly. Okay, then I'm talking about this. I'll break up. I'll have one. I have some more things, but I'm gonna break. Talk about this first. Okay, you guys. This is my little um, pouch, my Emilio Pucci. And uh, this is gonna sound really funny, but um, when I was, this is like another high school story or no college. So um, when I was in college, Emilio Pucci was really in. Um, Jessica Simpson was like wearing those. Um, do you guys remember those? Uh, like platform shoes that had like um, different colors on the wedge and they're Emilio Pucci and Emilio Pucci was in and it kind of went away. I love Emilio Pucci. I always have, even when it's not out, I used to have a store in South, in South Coast Plaza and they closed it and then I kind of forgot about it. Anyway, um, I know that Emilio Pucci is, I know that Pucci is coming back and when I was, Ming, be quiet. When I was, um, it, sorry, so when I was in, in college, they had these little makeup bags. These are actually little cosmetic pouches. They don't look exactly like this. Oh, I have it. Should I show you guys? I'm going to show you guys. Okay, I'm back. So let me show you. This is my original one from like the 2000s. And what I loved, um, when I, I got this because I remember a friend had it. And um, she was using hers. And it's like when you're in college, you can't afford like bags. I think this was like one of my very first designer bags around that time whatever you guys whatever okay so it's actually a cosmetic bag but we were she was using it as like a bag bag and I was like oh my god that's like the best idea because they were inexpensive it was only like a probably back then like two hundred dollars or less than that now they're like uh, this is the new version I think it was like three hundred dollars I'm not sure but like this is so cute right like I could still totally use this I'm gonna use this as like a beach bag or something it's like the most adorable thing um, I haven't brought it out in a long time, obviously. So then when I was in Paris, I was like, oh my god, I wonder if, because I saw the Pucci store, I wonder if Pucci's come out with anything new of these. Um, I'm sure they have. So I went in and they had this, and it's the cutest thing ever. It just fits like this. Um, I think it's a cosmetic bag, but I love it. I think you can hook this onto something, and I chose the purple one, especially because it says Pucci right here. The other ones um, weren't as pretty. They didn't have any coral or pink colors this, this season, I asked, and they didn't. They had like a black one, and they had like a, I don't know, like a green one or something. They weren't that pretty. But how fucking adorable is this? Like, it's like, I'm sorry. Like, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, it's so fucking adorable. Um, and I just, I love it. I just, <laughs> I'm not going to say it. But, um, yeah. So cute, right? I love it. I wore, I've already worn it one time. I've worn it one time with my DOCBH shirt and this. It's like so fucking sick. So that's that. Um, I just like that. It's, it's like, especially if you're like on a budget and you like really want a designer item so bad that you can like actually use, like, you know, like a statement piece. This is actually a fucking statement piece, um, but for like very inexpensive. So go check it out. I, I really, I'll try to find the link if I can find the link. I don't know, but I, I've always loved Emilio Pucci. Okay. Um, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is, I'm gonna talk about my jacket. This is my Mayfair jacket, and you guys have probably seen it on story because so I gotta get my, I have these silk dresses to talk about too, so, um, which you guys are gonna have to buy. You guys need all the, everything I'm talking about. 
So this is my Mayfair, can you guys see my Mayfair? Did, did like the lighting get weird? I'm not sure. My Mayfair trench coat and I wanna show it to you on. You guys can see pictures and I wanna see, show you how gorgeous it is when I put it on. Okay, so here is the Mayfair coat. I wanted to show you guys it on and how it looks. This is the medium large size. Sorry, my belt is like dragging on the floor. And you guys know I love classic pieces with like really unique twists and this is just the most easy trench coat to wear with the most fabulous unique sleeves and I love it so much I wore it with um I wore it with a tight black remember that tight black yoga uh, I call it the yoga skirt that I bought it from the Korean from the Korean store I wore it with that and like a short black top one of these kind of tops um, and just this over it's just the cutest, most effortless, unique piece ever. So cute. Also, notice that the, um, the, the material is really, really nice and thick. It's not thin, it's not that like shiny material. It's really nice, but it's soft. And look at how cute that is. So gorgeous. I just love how unique it is. So pretty. I'm gonna jump back to pumpkin spice stuff real quick. So you guys know that I love to put, when fall comes around, like literally when like September rolls around, I love to um, put, start, to, it, I like start searching for pumpkin spice things. Am I crooked? I'm not sure. I start looking for pumpkin spice things. So um, I got this like pumpkin spice uh, kind of seasoning from Whole Foods a few years ago. And I just thought, I don't know, whatever. I don't, I didn't like, I wasn't using it as often as I, wish, as I thought I would. It just didn't taste right to me, but I just figured like that's the way it tasted. Anyway, so I was at World Market. I picked up their pumpkin spice um, seasoning, and I love it so much more. So I've, I'm already like sending you guys to World Market. So you might as well pick this up too. It's a really good one. I really like to put it in my coffee and then stir it in the coffee, and then I add the foam on top. Um, so like the coffee tastes like the pumpkin spice, not the foam. Um, and I really, really like that. Okay. Then the next thing I want to talk about again is the, is clothes. This is the brand um, from that I got when I was in Paris, and I'm gonna botch the name. Hold on. The name you guys remember, right? It's the look at that color. It's so pretty. Mes de Moselle. Mes de Moselle. Mes de Moselle. I can't fucking say French shit. Okay. De, okay, whatever. I will try and link it. I'm gonna show you because I can't fucking find shit. Here it is. I'll, I'll try to find the link. Okay, so I got this one when I was in Paris. I was just like perusing one day and I found myself in the store. It was just like so fabulous. Seriously, it's like the best trip ever. Like my fucking solo trip was amazing. I just was like, just literally found myself like in the store. It was like, you know, it was just, like so, my trip was like such, like I could, it could have been like a movie. It was just so fabulous. Okay. And, um, Anyway, I love the fit on these, you guys. So I even with my big, huge implants, I love the way this looked on me. But it looks like even like 100 million times better now. Okay, so that may, I went online and I ordered this every color they had. I got this green one and I got this red one. I could not find this one anywhere, just so you guys know. But I can try and find the links for these two for you and put them below. They're like they end. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you can see um, how I wear them. And you probably don't like it because I wear like socks and slides and like sweaters with them. But that's what I want to fucking do, okay? Like, leave me alone. Ugh, even though you won't. Okay, so those I love. And then I'm going to talk about this candle. And I'm just like not ever buying it again. Like, I'm just not. Like, I'm just sick of them like not even trying at this point. So this is a very expensive candle. This Nest candle, they put it out every year. And yeah, I bought it last year and I bought it again this year because it does smell the best as far as like... A, um, a pumpkin spice that's not like doesn't burn weird you know a lot of like cheapy candles they just don't smell the way like they don't burn the way they smell right so this nest one is called pumpkin chai and I would never choose anything that's called chai it's like so like to me it's like so hippie like I just don't like hippie smells and stuff but 
Um, it doesn't. It smells like pumpkin, you know what I mean? And I just am done with this. Like, I'm so done with this candle. I'm done with it. Like, I just hate that they make it so ugly. I can't stand it. They don't even try. Like, they didn't even make a new one this year. They just, like, put out the same one. And, like, everyone bought it. I bought it again, too. I'm like, I'm not buying it anymore. Like, no one wants a fucking orange-ass striped candle. It's so ugly. You're not even trying. So you know it's going to sell, so you don't care. I'm done with it. This is the last year I'm making it, unless they change it. Like, I'm saying, I'm putting a plea out to Nest, like, letting you guys know that no one wants orange-ass candles. Yes, it is, like, for the season, but please, can you, like, call it, like, white pumpkin or something and make, like, white with, like, a very light orange stripe something? Can you at least make it Birkin orange? Not, like, this putrid fucking, like, rotten pumpkin orange? Like, can we be a little more creative about it? I just can't. Like, I can't and I won't. This is the last time. I swear to God, it's the last time. I will, I will not buy another pumpkin candle from Nest because this is too, it's too expensive. You know what I mean? I think this is like 80 or $90, like for you guys not to even be trying. Okay. Like no one wants this ugly fucking votive. It's just not pretty. I'm done. I'm done with you. Put it in a fucking white ass beaker. How about that? Okay. I'm giving you fucking free information right now. All right, here we go. Oh my God. I should do that. It's so cool. All right, here we go. Um, what else? I have a couple more things to talk about. Okay, I'm gonna talk about this Dior bag. Okay, and it's perfect, because this is exactly how, why I hate it, but I love it. This is the most obnoxious, hard to use, stupid, lopsided, just dumb bag ever. Like, it is so hard. This D, okay, it's just so, it's so hard to use. I literally am gonna kill myself with this one day. I'm gonna knock everything off of like, the off of the table at the restaurant I'm at with it. I'm gonna make a huge scene mockery of myself. It's going to happen, I promise you. This D is so heavy. It's a, a D class, right? And it is so heavy and it's so like lopsided. I, I, it's, it's just the worst bag ever, but I love it. Um, but it's so heavy that you can't put it down. If you put it down, do you, do you hear that? It's like, it just, it's so nails on a chalkboard. It is so nails on a chalkboard, but I love the bag and it looks really cute on the strap. It's very comfortable and I, I really like it, but it's just this, this, this bag. Look at it. And it doesn't lay either. It like, you know what I mean? Like sticks. It just, oh, just buy bitch, please. You're giving me fucking anxiety. Horrible. Okay. <sighs> Next. I just want to make sure this is laying right. I love it so much. Um, the next thing I talk about is this. Okay, I have just a couple more things and then I'll be done. Sorry, I'll be out of your guys' hair. So, um, this one. Oh no, my battery's running out. Okay, I gotta hurry. This is my favorite scent ever. Okay, if I run out of battery, you guys, I want to say I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching. I don't know how this stupid camera reacts, okay? So, bye, but wait, let's just try to make this work. Okay, so this is my new favorite scent and it's from Dior. I bought it at Galleries Lafayette and every time I wear it, I just think of my trip. I'm like big on smells and music. You guys know that like sounds and music. I just, sorry, smells and music I love. And it's just so pretty. Like it is so everything. Like this is my trip to Paris. Like this is what it smells like. This one. So in case you want to know, I'll try and link it out. I, I don't think I can find it. I think I tried to find it last time. I don't think I could. But um, love, love it, love it. Okay. And then I'm going to talk about, oh yeah, I'll just quickly show you my um, bubble heart hoops, which are really, really popular. You guys are loving them in gold and silver. And I get a lot of questions about which size I'm wearing. I always wear the large ones, um, so don't get confused and get the medium if you want the ones I wear. And they come in gold and silver, and I love them because they're a little puffed heart. Really, really, really cute puffed heart in gold and silver. Adorable. Okay, and then if I can get this squeezed in, I think I can. The last thing is this, and I talked about it before. It's called Make, and it's called Blot Pot in Rouge. And I love this thing. I wear, on the, like the other day, I literally wore this on my eyes, on my cheeks, and on my lips. And it's the coolest thing ever. It's like so, it's kind of, okay, I don't know if you guys don't like this, I don't care. It's like blood. It like is kind of bloody, and I love it because it just like brightens you up. It's like if you were to like pinch your cheeks and like the, you know, bring like the blood to the surface or whatever, like that's what it would look like. And it just gives you like this fresh look and I put it on my eyes too. It's like a little bit like glossy. It's really, really, really pretty. I really love it. Okay, I don't think I missed anything and I think I saw, I didn't like run out of battery. Okay, I'm gonna say it again. I love you guys so much and I hope you guys like this video. Have a great weekend and um, that's it. Okay, bye.